<clears throat> Hello everybody, it's Kap. My name is Lee, and I used to live in Thailand, and I'm a student of Thai folk music. So today I'd like to show you uh, some of the instruments that are used in Thai folk music. This is not uh, Thai classical music, that's a different set of instruments, uh, different songs. These are instruments that are mostly played in the countryside, in the north and the northeast of Thailand. We'll start with uh, percussion. Long drum. This is a small version of a drum that's used a lot in northern Thai music. As you see, it has two sides. And it sounds best if you keep one hand on the drum, otherwise they both kind of ring at the same time. Nothing super fancy. Um, these are called the Ching, and they're named for the sound that they make. Kind of like bees buzz, right? On a lot of Pia. Here we go. So, you play this by cupping your bottom hand in a circle, so you have a place for this one to rest. Pinch the string here, and right next to the cymbal. And there are two sounds you're going to want. One is muting the instrument by touching it, coming right down on top, and then the second one, open the fingers and strike one edge to the other. Nice long ring. Now, it seems like a very simple instrument to play, but some of the songs you're going to play could be five minutes, seven minutes long. I can tell you it gets very tiring and especially if you have a song that's going at a pretty fast clip, so you may have a stretch of. That can get pretty tiring after a while. Also, you have to know where to start, and sometimes I don't. Still learning. These are the Ching. Cha. Mediums. Similarly, there are different sizes of these kind of symbols. Um, it's hard to say who invents what first, but when I look at these, I think they may have come down from China. They have a lot of these kind of symbols in Chinese music, and they have a cup in the middle, which gives you some really nice... If you drag them across one another, you hear kind of a... kind of sound. These are used a lot. These are used a lot in um, northern Thai music, northeastern Thai music, and you'll also see them a lot in uh, parades, processions that are done for weddings, uh, for religious ceremonies at a Buddhist temple. Um, very loud and not a shy instrument. Uh, so it's important to know when to hit them. <laughs> Uh, in a parade, you can be kind of loose, but in some of the other music, there are specific patterns that you're going to want to learn. Mom, this instrument, like the chain, is named for the sound that it makes. Um, speaking of parades, the instrument that sets the tempo in a parade procession will be a gong. There are different sizes. This is the one I have. And today I cannot find my mallet, so I'm just going to use my fingers. But you're going to want to hit it right in the middle and set the tempo. The drummers and everyone else are going to follow this, and it's going to be towards the head of the parade procession. but it's not used a lot in the ensembles. Salah, 
Spike Fiddle. Um, let's move on to some of the folk instruments, which are not percussion. Let's move on to some strings. All right, we've got essentially a fiddle here. It has only two strings, and they'll be tuned in a fourth, which is the Here Comes the Bride interval for my Western music people or probably more common, the fifth, which is the foghorn, or a ship coming in. So, that's what I've got going here. Um, the resonator is a coconut shell, and let's see if I can get up close for you here. The bridge in this case, for people of my generation, uh, is one of the old soda can uh, pop tabs. It's a very good instrument. It was made by a craftsman. Um, but the folk musicians make their own instruments. They maintain them and they use whatever's available. Um, this has guitar strings on it now, but in the countryside you may see them with uh, wiggly strings, which are motorcycle brake cables. That's because they're available and they're affordable. Let's see what we can do on here. probably subconsciously influenced by bluegrass music because that's my own country heritage so I'm a bit polluted so, loot. now moving on speaking of bluegrass. In the bluegrass genre, excuse me, there are mandolins, and this is essentially a mandolin. It has two courses of strings, and like a mandolin or steel guitar, they are tuned to the same pitch. And these are in different sizes. This is a rather large one. Uh, there's larger sim, and there are tiny ones that play a much higher pitch. This one, these are the traditional tuning pegs, but they're kind of tough to work with. You have to, uh, usually you would, for a serious gig, you would want to dip them in water and then get them where you want and they would expand to hold in place, but they're very touchy. So this has been adapted with Western tuners, which are easier to control. They stay in place better. You want a softer pick for this, because you're going to do some rapid strumming.
yeah, I really enjoy this instrument. It was the first one I, well, no, I learned the fiddle first, but this was a close second. A bit easier than bowing for me, although I am a piano player first. And last, we're going to move on to woodwinds and reeds. Um, just like drums, most cultures independently discovered that blowing in a tube could produce some interesting sound. So, uh, yes, there are flutes in Thailand made of bamboo or wood, both widely available. Um, it's not really a flute, though. It's more of a recorder, which is much easier to play. The difference being the plug here in the end. So you just have to have your lips on it and, and it'll be just fine. Um, there's a small hole at the bottom, which helps with some ornaments. And the air pressure is what brings you up to the higher octave. Uh, let's see, what's a good one on this? song, but it draws heavily on uh, the classical flute tradition. There are skinnier flutes which have a much higher pitch, again, uh, more similar to something you'd hear in Chinese music, a very piercing sound. Can't find mine today, but those are used in the northern tradition. Um, this size is, is more common in, in classical, but you'll see them in folk music as well. Different tunings are, are available for the flutes. Um, the last instrument I'm going to show you is very unique to Southeast Asia. You'll find varieties in um, Laos and in the mountains of Laos in Vietnam, southern China. There are a lot of tribal peoples that um, have varieties of this. And it's a bit like a harmonica because it's a single reed instrument. The Lao version uses a specific species of bamboo that grows in perfectly straight tubes, as you can see. Uh, there are different sizes available. There's one smaller than this, there's one larger than this. And I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of this. Um, this is a new instrument for me, so just learning. order they're actually designed so you can do octaves without dropping the instrument and I have a lot to learn I'm going to try a melody on the larger one here teacher on the can. If you know anybody, contact me. I'm eager to learn. 
Um, that's a little tour of some of the instruments that I have on hand, and hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you get the chance to visit Thailand and see the expert musicians play these things uh, live. This tradition is very strong, um, ongoing, thankfully. Um, back in the 90s there was some fear that some of these things were going to go extinct, but even some of the more challenging and, and rare instruments that I don't have with me today, uh, there has been support for them and a revival and some renewed interest in the younger generation, so I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, Thai folk music is alive and well. Uh, pop music is naturally, how can I say, more popular and, and stronger, but um, there are also genres of Thai popular music, uh, we could call it Thai country music in the Northeast, that are blending the two, the traditional instruments and the modern instruments, the traditional singing style and full-on rock bands. Uh, so it's, it's always fascinating to see what happens in, in the world of music. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, there's plenty on the internet, as you know, if you'd like to learn more. ยามแรง